Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome to the stage for the first time, Legacy Five. service is my desire. I so want to know you and in your love grow with heavenly power. I yield my life to you. I'm willing to be used wherever you bid me I'll go. So Lord Jesus daily I pray that you'll break me that your love A vessel of mercy. Father, make me a vessel. Father, make me a vessel that's true. A vessel that's true. Fill me with love and compassion, Lord. Fill me with love and compassion and fashion. My heart to be my a heart to be a vessel worthy. A vessel worthy. Make me a vessel. I've seen a lot of miracles in my life, but the most amazing miracle to me is salvation story. Amen? Here's a good new song. Sounds like an old one. Salvation is the miracle to me. Jesus, the Holy One, God's own begotten Son, worship Him and let His praises ring. He raised the crippled man, made Him to walk again. Voices one side and now can see. When he says peace, be still, winds must obey his will. He speaks and blinded eyes can see. But greater than all of these is a sinner down on his knees. Salvation is a miracle to me. Salvation is the miracle to me. All heaven cheers when one lost sinner's been set free. He came to die that we might live. And the life he gives we live abundantly. I know he fed the crowds with just a loaf of bread. Walked upon the sea and he would raise the dead. But of all the signs and wonders this world will ever see, salvation. 
Well, thank you. Man, you guys will, you'll wear a quartet out, and I'm just the piano player, and I'm already tired. Well, it's great to be with you. I tell you, we've been looking forward to this night. We have uh, spent the last year in preparation to launch Legacy 5, and, and just before we go any further, I just have to thank the cathedral so much. George Yance and Glenn Payne last uh, year decided that 1999 would be the last year for the cathedrals, and, and they very generously, out of, out of a heart of love, gave Scott Fowler and I one year to put together a quartet. And Glenn, I remember Glenn telling me, guys, you've got a whole year now to, uh, to plan and put together. He said, look for the best folks you can get. Get not only the best singers that you can find, but get the best guys, heart for God. He said, because in the, in the final analysis, it's not how good you sing. It's not how great you play. It's did you tell the world about Jesus. And I appreciate the cathedral so much for uh, giving us our start. We've got, we've got three new guys that you haven't met, and I want to take a, a moment and introduce, uh, i tell you what, we'll start with the bass singer. Glenn, come on up here. This is Glenn Dustin. He is from Monroe, Louisiana. Would you make him welcome here tonight? <laughs> Glenn is a... Uh, we just thank God so much for Glenn because we, uh, out of the blue, God sent him our way, and, and we just think he's just the, one of the finest young bass singers that we've ever heard. He is incredible. He is a, he is a country boy. He is from... Monroe, Louisiana, like I told you. And you know what? He's the uh, recreational leader of Legacy 5. He's the softball player. He's the uh, basketball player. He's the golfer. He's the hunter and the fisherman. And, and Glenn, actually, you wouldn't know it to look at him. I mean, he's got a, a, a great suit on. he got his hair all combed tonight. looks good. But he is an alligator hunter. Now, you, those Cajuns are just a little bit funny when it comes to... I mean, if it can be killed, they will eat it, you know? And so... He doesn't hunt the alligators just for sport. I mean, he likes to eat them, too. And uh, I was asking him one day, we were eating lunch at a recording session, after a recording session, and I said, Glenn, you know, I'm just curious. I realize some people like to do dangerous things, you know, like parachuting and, and all that stuff. But I said, to go out almost barehanded and, and try to kill and hunt a, an alligator, uh, how would you get started in something like that? And he said, well, he said, my favorite uncle was the alligator hunter in our family. And uh, he said, Uncle Stumpy. And uh, <laughs> uh, Uncle Stumpy got him started <laughs> doing alligators, and I just couldn't hardly stand it like to kill me. But anyway, he did. He brought my son when we came up the last time to record. He brought Jordan a little alligator head that uh, I thought he bought it at a gift shop, but uh -uh. Uh, him and Uncle Stumpy dispatched that guy. <laughs> you, know, you got all of them here tonight, don't you? No, no, no. Okay. Glenn's going to sing a song that uh, a good friend of ours, Babby Mason, wrote. And Babby is not known for a Southern Gospel writer. She wrote the classic song, All Rise, and, and she's just a wonderful writer. But she wrote a Southern Gospel song and, and sent it to us, and we knew immediately that Glenn needed to sing it. Uh, you're going to love this guy's singing. I'm going to stand up here and do a little doo-wop ditty back up with you. This song's called Stepping Out, Step, Step Out on Something About Water. I read this account in the Bible How Peter and the disciples Went out for a little boat ride But on the way to the other side A great storm came up and the strong winds blew But along came Jesus to the rescue Peter was the one to take a leap of faith I believe I hear Peter say You gotta go stepping out on the water You gotta get out of the boat You gotta come leave the shore and come out of The safety of your comfort zone You'll never learn how to swim if you never get wet So launch into the deep and put to the test. You gotta go stepping out, stepping out on the water. Trust the Lord. Not yeah. bad, Stumpy. Yeah, now take a look at your situation. Are you drowning in a sea of complication? You've got it way over your head, and you wonder if the storm will end. Well, if it's over your head, you gotta be under his feet. Remember
Remember, God is able to supply all your needs. Miracles happen when you trust and pray. Pretty soon you will be able to say, You gotta go stepping out on the water. You gotta get out of the boat. You gotta come leave the shore and come out of the safety of your comfort zone. tell you there's something about quartet singing i love i just like to hear those low bass singers low down men and uh, the the tenor singers sing high guys come over here around the piano let's do an old quartet song while we're kind of in the quartet mood here there's an old statesman song we we thank god for our pioneers in gospel music who who, who paved the way before us like statesman blackwoods lefevers and i thank god for them because they gave us some great songs and great traditions this is a song that we stole or we didn't steal we borrowed off of one of their records and uh, it's called You Better Run. It's, Scott, you've got the lead, and it's pretty challenging for you. And, guys, we've got the oom bops, and uh, well, let's just hope that we all end up in the same place, okay? Old time singing, just piano only. <laughs> and uh, it's called... Uh, you better run. You better run on to meet your Lord, Lord. You better run. You better run on to meet your Lord. Lord you better run. If you've seen some more. has been told how the streets are paved with purest gold walls of jasper gates are made with pearl you know there's nothing like it in this whole wide world you better run you better run on to meet your maker you better run on to meet your lord you better run if you will see him some morning you better run to meet him in the morning you can't sit around and wonder why can we say someday by and by now's the time to really raise your voice you know you will not have to worry if you're making your choice you better run you better run on to me you better run you better run, you better run on to me you better run you better run to me you better run to me in the morning run to me in the morning you better run to me in the morning We're doing a video. We can't do requests on a...
We sure ain't doing that one. <laughs> and we certainly ain't do All right, who put y'all? <laughs> Let Scott play the piano. Ain't no, you, you seen them women before? Did you? It had to be my mama or my wife, one. Well, <laughs> you know what? I, now, this kind of bothers me, ma'am. Here I am. I, I have worked for 20 years to try to become a piano player. I have won the Anthony Berger Award several times. Right. And you want me to, you want me to play with the likes of him? You, we did a song with the cathedrals called Keep on the Fire. I know it's been too long. Trust me, I ain't pulling for this. Well, don't worry. Just be happy. All right, we'll do it for this lady because she's been so patient. And, and this lady over here who walked away and left after she gave her request. Guys, just put yourself on hold for a minute. This is not on the program. Guys, in the video truck, I don't guess you have to record this. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot and see. It's going to be pretty pitiful. Keep on the firing line. Thank you so much, music lovers. Thank you. Yes. We need to do another one. <laughs> Strong in the strength of someone else. Trusting a hand that never has failed. Living a life of Strong in the strength of someone else Strong in the strength of someone else I'm strong in the strength of someone else Trusting a hand that never has failed Living a life of spiritual well Strong in the strength of someone else Strong in the strength of someone else strength that was stronger than the lion it was making the church out of that lion's den david stepped out to battle goliath incredible odds said he could not win but he found a strength stronger than the giant with a sling and a stone david's battle was won strong in the strength of someone else trusting a hand Filled with evil, incredible odds 
say I cannot win, but I found a strength that is strong like a mountain flowing through me from my father's right hand. Strong in the strength of someone else, strong, trusting a hand that never has failed, living a life of spiritual wealth. Strong in the strength of someone. Strong in this strength, or richer or poorer. I'm strong in this strength, death cannot part us, cause I'm strong in his strength. Strong in the strength of someone else, yeah. trusting a hand that never has failed, living a life of spiritual wealth. Strong in the strength of someone else, strong in the strength of someone else. Strength of someone else, strong in the strength of someone else. Yes. Good job, guys. Well, based on based on medical reasons, I think we better introduce our tenor next before he passes out. Uh, this young man, somehow I became the old guy in the group overnight. Uh, this young man is, is 20 years old. His name is Joshua Cobb. He is from uh, Waco, Texas, Oklahoma City. He's from all over because his dad was, is a Nazarene uh, evangelist, music evangelist. So Josh has lived everywhere. He comes to us uh, as one of the most exciting young tenors I've heard. Are you glad to see Joshua Cobb tonight? <laughs> Doing a good job, buddy. He's a little nervous. He's, he's a little nervous. He, uh, this is his last night on the way up here from Nashville was his first night to sleep on a bus. And if you've ever seen inside of a tour bus, quartet bus, the bunks are, are about two and a half feet tall or so and then six feet long. And, and there's a curtain that you pull to keep the lights out. And Josh kind of got in his bunk last night for the very first time, keep in mind. And, and he pulled the curtain back and just kind of disappeared from view. And in a minute, we heard his voice say, I feel like I'm being smuggled. <laughs> Josh is uh, terminally young. Uh, his his uh, pediatrician's here tonight with us, and uh, Hi, Mom. yeah, <laughs> and his babysitter is here, yes, too. And but Josh is uh, another story that we don't have time tonight to tell. But how Josh came to be with Legacy Five is uh, is a, an amazing story. Maybe one day we'll get to tell you how it worked out. Um, He's an incredible tenor. He's going to sing a song that I think is destined to be a classic, and I, and I try not to over, overstate it, but the truth is we heard this song. My wife was shopping in Home Depot in Nashville, and a friend of ours who goes to church with us happened to be a songwriter. Of course, in Nashville, the clerks at Home Depot were all songwriters with a record deal, you know. And uh, Kelly Garner, a friend of ours, came up to Debbie and said, Debbie, I got a song I just finished, and Roger needs to hear it for the quartet, Legacy Five. And she played it for Debbie. Debbie took it home, and she called me so excited. She said, honey, I have found a song that I think is a hit song for you guys. It's going to bless a lot of people. And, you know, people say they suffer from low self-esteem in our world. The, the psychiatrists say that we need more self-esteem. And I'll tell you what, the, the thing that I think we suffer from is a lack of Jesus. Amen. This song says a message that I wish the whole world could hear. <laughs> that we could never do anything good on our own. I think you're getting ready to hear a classic song sung by a classic tenor, Josh Cobb, to sing, I Stand Redeemed. When I think of all my faults and my failures when I consider all the times I've let God down I am humbled by the grace He has extended I'm amazed at the mercy I have found I could never See? 
bunch of uh, wildcats. <laughs> I'm, from, uh, I'm from Arkansas. And a good friend of mine over in Lexington called me and said, hey, buddy, want to come down for the Arkansas-Kentucky game at Rupp Arena? I said, man, you couldn't pay me enough money. 
No, he said, come on. He said, we've, got a, we've just got word there's going to be a lot of red uh, uh, suits and, and there's a lot of Arkansas fans coming. He said, you won't feel out of place. He was lying. <laughs> My wife and I went. We were the only people wearing red in the whole place. <laughs> and um, I knew the, the, a, a new respect came about from the word wildcat, you know. <laughs> I said, I just love them wildcats. <laughs> we had a good time and got beat. So... <laughs> Uh, they were telling me that they were changing tape, and that's why I was telling a sports-related story there. For you. you know, um, you folks are kind of wild, and, and honestly, I was raised in a real conservative church. I was raised in a uh, Baptist church, and, and we, were, we were so conservative, we made Jerry Falwell look like a liberal, you know. I remember one, uh, I remember one summer we had a, a lady come down and visit us, some relatives from up north, and and I don't know still to this day why she got excited, but it's burned in my memory. I'll never forget it. And she, in the middle of our, in the middle of our sermon that Sunday morning, she hollered out, Praise God! <laughs> Top of her lungs. You could hear a pin drop. The head of our deacons walked down to the front row and said, Ma'am, I'm sorry, but we don't do stuff like that here. She said, Well, I just had the Holy Spirit. The guy said, You didn't get him here. Now be quiet. <laughs> How many people believe that God is a God that makes dreams come true? See, I believe, I believe that God is interested in our little bitty dreams that we have as, as well as our big dreams. And, and I'll give you a good example. I want you to meet our baritone singer. This is Scott Howard. Would you make Scott Howard welcome? The man. Coincidentally, Scott Howard is also from West Monroe, Louisiana. Yeah. They were having a sale on quartet men one day, and we got two, you know. But I've known Scott since, I'm just teasing there, Stumpy. Go back and sit down. <laughs> Soon to be Stumpy. You keep hunting alligators. Scott, I've known him for 20 years. We met, he was one of the first people I met when I first joined the cathedrals. And uh, we hit it off just like that. We, uh, we fished together and water skied together, and, and, and he came out on the road with us. And, and we, we became fast friends and have been that way ever since. And I always knew Scott was a great singer. And, I, and we talked about, kicked around years and years ago, boy, I hope we can sing together someday. And I didn't see how it would work out. I had no idea how God would do it. But you know what? When Legacy 5 was formed and we started looking for a baritone singer, we didn't go any farther than Scott Howard. And when he finishes singing this song, you will know why, that we didn't search any farther than we searched. He is what we call an old-time baritone. Uh, baritone singers from the old days had big, full, pleasant, rich voices, and there are still a lot of those around. But Scott Howard, to me, is, is one of those who really, every word I hang on when he sings, I don't listen to him speak, because I don't care what he says when he talks, but <laughs> when he sings, I hang on every word. And he's going to sing a song that, that a friend of ours wrote in Nashville. You know, I found out a few years ago that um, when I was diagnosed with cancer four years ago, I found out a lot about the human body in my research. And I found out, of course, that we can't live very long without food, a few, a few weeks maybe without food under some extreme circumstances, and, and only a few days without water. Our bodies cannot survive. But I found out that through the tough times in my life that I cannot live one second without the grace of God in my life. It is more important to me than food or water. Scott's got a song that's going to speak to your heart tonight. I don't know who you are tonight. I don't know what you face. Some of your situations might be stunning to us to hear. But I can tell you this. God is not surprised by your calamity. And there is enough grace at the foot of the cross to cover any wound that you have. Be blessed as Scott Howard sings, That's What Grace Is For. Something in your way Some battle you can't win Do you struggle day to day With thoughts of giving in 
There's no reason for despair He has walked this way before With compassion flowing free He's there for you and me That's what grace is for When all hope fades away just won't come and your soul cannot be still when it's all been said and done rest in the Father's will there's a multitude Covered by the blood that pours Blood that cleanses every stain So that none remain That's what grace is for When all hope fades away
His hand made the heavens, his word made the sea. His voice set the compass on the face of the deep. But when I knelt at the altar and from sadness I cried, his hand gently wiped every tear from my eye. Ever since he came, since Jesus came and pardoned every sin. I'm not the same. I'm not the same. No, I've been born again. I'll tell the world. I'll tell the world of peace and love I found and sing of true joy that abounds ever since he came. Since Jesus came and pardoned every sin. I'm not the same, no, I've been born again. I'll tell the world of peace and love I found. And sing of true joy that abounds since he came. Since the Savior Now it's time for me to introduce to you my partner, my best friend, my hero. <laughs> you need any help describing me, just let me know. I'll give you the words. Well, that wasn't one of the words that sprang to my mind, was he? A millstone, burden. Stop. <laughs> Scott Fowler uh, has made a name for himself all across the country with the cathedrals. He doesn't need any introduction from me. I'll just tell you that it's a privilege for me to be on the same stage with him, and uh, we're so excited about this new venture together as Legacy 5. Scott is, uh, is, is just one of those mainstays in gospel music that your name, you'll be hearing his name for years and years and years to come. And uh, eventually, when, if, he doesn't, if I don't kill him first, he will be spoken the same uh, breath as Glenn Payne and George Johnson the Greats. And make welcome Scott Fowler tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, I appreciate that. Roger, thank you. That's very nice of you. Um, these, haven't they made us feel? You guys, let me just say thank you so much. This is only Legacy 5's third time to ever step foot on a stage. And uh, some of these guys don't even live in town yet. We don't have, we don't get to rehearse. And I just want to say thank you for, for reaching out to us and, and you're encouraging us. And I, I feel like that you're on our side tonight and we sure appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's great to go somewhere and feel like family and friends, and that's the way you've made us feel. And, and, and speaking of friends, Roger, um, I've had, the, I've had the, the honor of the past 10 years of my life singing and traveling with, with someone who's become my best friend. And Roger, I mean that. You are, you are a wonderful friend, and I, I'm looking forward to the, the rest of our lives together in, in this group. And well, thank uh, you very you're much. a special friend. And, and uh, don't you appreciate, Roger, what he's well, doing? Thank you, Thank you, Scott. Roger is, is so talented, and, and it actually makes me um, sick, to be honest with you. Oh, well, what happened Ro to the best friend start? <laughs> I know we're off to a good start. That's right. Roger is a great songwriter, and he, he won't brag and he won't tell you this, but I want to let you know that four of the songs that we're singing tonight were written by Roger, and I believe he's one of the best songwriters today in, in our yeah, field, I and I appreciate you your songwriting well, as well. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks. Roger writes great songs that, that speak to my heart and speak to everyone's heart. And, and this, let's do one here that's no exception to that rule. This is probably my favorite song that you've written recently. Roger, this song I heard right after you wrote it when we decided we were going to start a group. And, and Roger came and said, I've got a new song. And as soon as I heard it, I knew I had to, to sing it. And I asked him to let me sing it because it speaks what my heart would want to say tonight. Folks, we live, I'm not here to preach, but we live in, in an in a country with an awesome opportunity to tell the world about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right. And people have, have given their lives, and, and thousands, countless of people have died down through the ages in other countries for telling what they believe. And we can, in this country, not be worried about being killed or burned at the stake. We, we have a wonderful opportunity to tell the world what we believe. And I, for one, just think that it's time that our songs start reflecting that. I think it's time that our preachers in the pulpit start preaching about that. I'm tired of the gospel of Jesus Christ being watered down to something insignificant. That's right. 
My prayer tonight, and what I want you to leave tonight, your prayer being, if you, if you could say nothing else when you leave, we want you to say, God, give me the courage. Give me the boldness to unashamedly proclaim to all of the world the two words that are my heart's cry. I believe. I believe that God made the universe in just the span of six days. I believe that Noah built a mighty boat that floated safe on the waves. And I believe that Daniel slept his cares away on the floor of the lion's den. And I believe that the word of God is sure and points our hearts to him. I believe. Genesis to Revelation, yes, Lord, I believe that your word is sure, your love is pure, your grace I now receive. The two words of my heart, Lord, I believe. Listen to this. I believe that Mary had a baby boy. But Joseph was not his dad. I believe that Jesus lived a perfect life and no one else ever has. I believe that he died on a rugged cross to pay for all my sins. And I believe that early on the third day, my Savior rose again. I believe. Genesis to Revelation, yes, Lord, I believe that your word is sure, your love is pure, your grace I now receive. The two words of my heart, Lord, I believe. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. When this life is but a memory, God's Word will still stand. From Genesis to Revelation, yes, Lord, I believe that your Word is sure, your love is pure, your grace I now receive. The two words are my Scott Fowler. Thank you. Listen closely to the words of this song. I don't know any human being in the world that doesn't need forgiveness tonight. And there's forgiveness in Jesus. My sin is ever before me, but His grace is greater. The sin that made my Savior Yet for the cleansing that I need, that precious blood I claim. The stripes by which my Savior bled bring healing this I know. The blood that stands. says it is finished more than his blood shed on Calvary. 
the harvest of the sin I'd sown. He reaped at Calvary, then sowed a field of his own and willed it all to me. The stripes by which my Savior bled bring healing this eye. stained Jesus' garments red, washed mine as white as snow. If you need a touch from Jesus tonight, you know that he is waiting and able to meet every need of your heart. If you believe that, say amen. Legacy Five wants to thank you for listening tonight. Um, we, you can guys, you can edit this out of the video if you want to. I got to be honest and, and forthright with these folks. We're we're winding the evening down. Um, I'm going to tell you like Elizabeth Taylor tells her husbands. I ain't going to keep you long. We've got, we've got two more songs to do for you, and, and your patience has been so wonderful. We've had to go straight through tonight because we had so much to get done. And when you do a video, when we do a concert, we wouldn't do this long a first half by any means. You, you just do, you know, five or six songs and be through. We've had to do 13 songs tonight, and you guys have been so patient. And more than that, more than being polite, you have soaked it up. A song that says, the blood that stained his garments red washed mine as white as snow. You don't want to miss the simplicity of that song. And tonight, to be honest with you, my heart is a little heavy uh, losing our mentor, our hero, Glenn Payne this year was, was a blow that within our flesh we could not have sustained. We could have not have got through it, but Jesus' grace has been sufficient. Glenn lasted six weeks from diagnosis to death. And I miss him terribly. There's not a day goes by that I don't think of Glenn. And I'm not, I'm not man enough to tell you that I don't cry buckets of tears about it. I still do. These are Glenn's shoes. Uh, I would never have been able to buy a pair of shoes like this. Glenn's wife gave me these shoes. He said, Roger, she said, Roger, Glenn loved you like a son and he'd want you to have his shoes. And that seemed like a small thing I'll never be able to fill his shoes. I may have them on tonight. And every time I slip them on, I think about Glenn. And I think about this song that I wrote before Glenn passed away. I firmly convinced and convinced that God gives us things in advance of us needing them sometime. God knew that I would need to know this song. I've never written a song from the perspective of heaven before. I've written a lot of songs about heaven. I've written a lot of songs concerning the subject of heaven. But I've never written a song about us already being in heaven and looking back across Jordan. I guess we've all got favorites. 
this one blesses me more than any song because I know that Glenn Payne is waiting. I know my grandma who died last Sunday is waiting. I know that a host of loved ones who have paved the way for us are waiting because, folks, regardless of what the New Age theologians want you to believe, heaven is a real place. And one day we will all look back from heaven and say, we are home. Laughing like children at the foot of the throne Praising the Savior who brought us safe home Raising and adoring His ever-blessed name The great Lamb of Calvary forever the same We are home place not our own occupied country the enemy's throne never belonging and so out of place constantly striving to finish this race but now now we are standing as trophies of grace anxiously waiting a glimpse of his face the veil has been lifted, the glass has been cleared. With loud hallelujahs, the King has appeared. We are home. We are home. Safely home. Yes, we are home. The sacrifice given, my sins all forgiven. Calvary has won. We
When the trumpet sounds, I'm gonna put on my traveling shoes.